one is supposed to kill the uh, the man, right? Oh, there he is. All right. Oh. Actually, no. I want to save that for somebody good. Like, really good. But this, I think... This, I think, is a shot that I can make. <gasps> oh, he moved! Oh, you stinking person! Come on! Come out, come out! Mr. Harn! Go. I'm just trying to be uh, sneaky, Kaji. If he wasn't hiding behind that pole, this would be excellent. Unfortunately, he's hiding behind the pole. Uh, come on! <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, don't move. Oh. Okay, he's not dead. In the go. Hee <laughs> Oh, this is bad. Damn you. Okay. Apparently we are a team. Alright, now let's get out of here before uh, the other one notices. Yes? <laughs> oh! Oh, this is bad. She saw us. Yes, she did. Oh dear. Uh oh. Vampire. There will be more. Owie, that hurt. You, I say. What are you looking at, you silly duck thing? Okay. Ha, ha, ha. Now you see why I had to kill them. Vampires. Ugh. Actually, this one doesn't really have a thing against the vampires. Those two were kind of, you know, just peaceful. But, uh, you know, you can never be too careful. Uh, I thought I was sick, but no, I'm just hungry. Actually, I should probably do something about that. Right. It isn't any wonder why I wasn't able to pull the bow back that far. I know that there's a stream over here. I'm going to fill up my water skin. And then we will go to Valkyrie. There we go. Alright. If you do not mind, when we have a moment, I would like to discuss something with you. Langley's house would be a bad idea, though. 
What I want to discuss concerns him. Okay, just let me get out of this water because it's freezing and I'm kind of... E. Okay, then. Okay. Something troubling you? Uh... What were you talking about? I'm afraid not. Crap. Okay. When we get the chance, when we get to Valkyrie, we will sit down and talk about it, okay? Sorry about that. It was kind of cold. You're standing in it. I'm not sure how you're not shivering too. Okay. I'm going to stay out of the woods, actually. Ah. Sneaky Kaji. Who's this? This looks like somebody looking for trouble, does it not? Ah. Uh. Hail, sister. I saw you walking there and I thought you could use this. Oh. Good luck out there. You too. That was nice of you. Apparently, my thing about the lockpicks has been getting around. Uh. Uh, this one would like to be cautious because this is where we ran into the werewolves at one time. There's a shield. There's part of a shield. That is some good balance right there. Okay. What's that, Mr. Dragonfly? Oh, you are talking to the butterfly you are stored with. I am sorry. I will leave you to it. I just realized we went the wrong way. It is good that Mr. Dragonfly has a friend, no? Well, besides you, but like, a buggy friend. Oh, good idea. I stopped to eat lunch. Might as well let you do that. He's bad. Wee. <gasps> oh, okay. Kajit was seized by a yawn. And another one. Non stop since Langley's house. And I'm not sure about you, but I cannot sleep with his snoring. Good grief. That man could put a bear to shame. Alright, let's step it up. You, uh... I am here for you. You wait here. I will be right back. I will be here. Yes. One moment, please. Uh, now if I can only remember where the door is. There it is. Doot doot doot. Good thing I picked this up. It's a test. I need an amulet appraised. appraised. I want, I want to, know, to where... know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. There's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... Uh, history. history. He can, he be, can trusted. be trusted. Go, sister. We'll have a talk about your location. Your location. Your station. When you return. Mastery. My station. 
Uh, I got your message. Need something? Never mind. Watch yourself out there. I can see you uh, have other things you're working on. Intriguing. This one will just go find Nazir. Hmm. Wizara is training. Yet here you stand, hale and hearty. I'm the perfect weapon. My innocent childish form grants me nearly unrestricted access. Poison or a good bite usually takes care of the rest. Ooh. <laughs> she does have a point though. <laughs> Hello. What do you want, Beef Roast? <laughs> I'm trying to find Nazir, but good one. Beef Roast. Hello, Nazir. You're alive. Then I guess you haven't paid a visit to the vampire yet, huh? Well, actually, I will have you know, I just got back from taking care of said vampire. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Mm-hmm. And uh, Lord Book is also dead. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. <laughs> ah. Are there any more contracts available? There are, indeed. Three, to be exact. There's Dekas, a shipwreck scavenger. Mirandru Joe, a traveling caravanner. And Anoriath, a hunter. Oh. Mirandru Mirandru Joe is a Khajiit, no? What can you tell us a test about him? He's an accomplished wizard. And locating him may be challenging, as he travels with the caravans. Oh. Interesting. And what about the Noriath? He sounds like a Bosmer. The Wood Elf may run a stall in the city, but he retreats to the plains outside Whiterun to hunt. Kill him there, and no one will bear witness. Oh, okay. This one uh, had a moment where she thought she knew that Bosmer, but uh, no. Uh, what about Dekas? He's an Argonian layabout. Likes to scavenge shipwrecks. My guess is he'll run if threatened, or swim, if given the chance. Don't give him that chance? All right. Uh, a, a question about, uh... I, I don't know if you know what, uh... what Asterit is going on about with anything? Uh, any advice that you could lend to Zaytas? You may be the listener, what? or you may just be a lunatic who's started hearing voices. Either way, Astrid is still your mistress, not the Night Mother. Uh, this one thinks she was not meant to hear that yet. This is news to me. Okay, I'm just going to go now. <laughs> You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. Yeah. The test is now the listener. What? Uh, huh? Sit this whisper be upon you, sister. You are a poet. Nice. Be frost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. I, I, I want need something. I want to ask about the letter, but I'll go talk to Delvin first. Need something? Nope. 
You swore that there was no listener. It's very strange. Maybe they are deciding for some reason. Anyway, I suppose we'll figure that out when we get back. Yikes. And of course it's raining. In go. In go. Oh. I'm stuck. In go. Uh oh. <laughs> In go. Ah, where are you? Oh. Ha, ha, ha. Hi. I am ready to go if you are. Yep. Let's go to Palgrist, shall we? Yes, let us go. <laughs> this one just got some very interesting news. She may have gotten a promotion. Or... Uh, soon to get a promotion. Wants to make me the listener. I don't know if you know what that means. I probably shouldn't be walking backwards in a place where we saw va uh, vampires. Well, yes, and werewolves. I was thinking about the werewolves and not the vampires. Ugh, anyway. Oi. Yeah, I probably should tell you, Inigo. Oh! <laughs> I... I am... Uh, in the Dark Brotherhood. I'm sure you figured that out by now. Anyway. Let's get into the inn and get out of this rain. Ugh. It's gross. Hello, excuse me. Bye. Mm-hmm. 